just been watching Nico Williams and Laminia Mal at the Euros. Those two make a decent wing pairing on the pitch, don't they? But guess what? Off the pitch, they look like an even better pair. This sizzling bromance has inspired us to look at some other pairs like this across different national teams. These are the five hottest bromances in international football. Of course, we start with Nico Williams and Lamine Yamal. The two young wingers just enjoy each other's company. These guys finished terrorizing the Georgia defense in the round of 16 Euro 2024 and started playing rock, paper, scissors over a water bottle right there on the pitch after the game. And oh, after Nico scored in the match, the pair gave us a little choreography which resembled a dance that Neymar did years ago when he was still at Santos. But that wasn't even the first time the wingers had given us a dance. Months before Euro 2024, during an international break, they shook the internet with their captivating little choreography, and we couldn't help but notice that Nico Williams made a gesture that looks like Neymar's trademark celebration. Could that be a sign? Surely Barcelona fans are hoping it is. They desperately want Nico Williams to join the club and solve their problems on the left wing, and they're hoping that all these Neymar references are a sign that the athletic club man also wants the move. But all that seems like grasping at straws, to be fair. What's certain, though, is that Lamine Yamal is doing his job as an agent. He said it publicly on a number of occasions that he wants his good mate Nico to join Barca. If it happens, these two might go on to replicate the bromance we saw between Xavi and Iniesta, and also between Suarez, Neymar and Messi at Barcelona. Speaking of Messi, yes, he is very close friends with Neymar and Suarez, but on the international stage, the bromance has always been between Lionel Messi and Sergio Aguero. These two share a great deal of history. First of all, they were both born in June, and since that is the month when most international tournaments are played, it means that they spent a lot of their birthdays during their careers together in the Argentina camp. And this goes all the way back to the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in 2005 and just kept going on for years. They won that tournament together in 2005, won the Olympics in 2008, went to the World Cup in 2010, 2014 and 2018, and the Copa America in 2011, 2015, 2016, 2019 and in 2021 when they won it together. That's 10 summers and 16 years of sizzling bromance between the two attackers before a heart condition forced Aguero to retire abruptly in 2021. But even that didn't stop them. Despite not being included in the playing squad for the 2022 World Cup, Aguero flew to Qatar just to be with his buddy. Apparently, for more than 15 years, Messi and Aguero had always shared a room whenever they were on international duty. So following Aguero's retirement in 2021, Messi decided to stay alone at the 2022 World Cup because he just could not replace his old mate. Well, after that shocking loss against Saudi Arabia, Aguero decided to move into Messi's room to offer his good friend some moral support. So even though the former Man City man wasn't in the squad, the bromance continued. When Argentina lifted the World Cup, Aguero lifted Messi and put him on his neck and carried him around. Despite not getting the medal himself, he was just delighted for his friend. You might call them brothers, but Aguero described his relationship with Messi in a very different way. He said, they're like an old married couple. How cute. Aguero left Man City to move to Barcelona for free in 2021 because of Messi. But unfortunately, after he completed his move, Messi was forced to leave the club because of some financial problems the club was facing. So they never actually got to play together at club level. Anyway, let's get back to the kids. At Euro 2024, we've also seen some sizzling bromance between Jude Bellingham and Trent Alexander-Arnold. From the moment they both arrived at camp, they were thick as thieves and always pictured together. But this bromance has actually existed long before the Euros. It was this bromance that gave Liverpool fans hope that they could land Bellingham when he was still at Dortmund. But now, that bromance is giving Real Madrid fans hope that they can land Trent. Interesting, eh? This bromance peaked in England's opening game of Euro 2024, when Jude scored the only goal of the game and he and Trent gave us a super special celebration, which the midfielder explained was from a game they played called Wolf. Will we get to see these international teammates play together at club level? Well, only time will tell. But we already have a pair of international teammates who play for the same club and have an enviable romance. 
we're talking about the Nigeria pair of Alex Iwobi and Calvin Bassi. Both of them play for the Super Eagles of Nigeria and Fulham in the Premier League. But in their case, nobody acted as an agent for the other as they both signed for Fulham in the same summer and from that point, the bromance really blew up. You can see the insane connection between them each time they're doing an interview together or when they're in the Nigeria camp. To be fair, when you play for the same club and the same national team, you're bound to get super close. Even the Premier League seems to have clocked onto the bromance between these two and have taken advantage of it by often putting them in interviews together. Everybody loves a good bromance. But the purest bromance has to be the one between Lucas and Teo Hernandez. Others are friends that act like brothers, but these ones are actual brothers who act like friends. They started their careers together at Atletico Madrid, but have since gone their separate ways at club level. But they both play together on the international stage, and in fact, they are sometimes used interchangeably at left back. Yes, they are so close that they cover for each other when the other isn't available, as we saw in the 2022 World Cup. What are brothers for, right? I mean, which pair of brothers have you seen reach the final of the World Cup together? They certainly deserve to be on this list. So there you have it, five hottest bromances in international football, but we have a couple of bonuses for you. First, it's Declan Rice and Mason Mount. These two have been best buddies since they were kids in the Chelsea Academy, but Mount has recently fallen down the pecking order on the international stage, so that's made this bromance go a little cold. And you could say the same about N'Golo Conte and Thomas Lamar. They were both together at Caen between 2013 and 2015, and they won the World Cup together with France in 2018. During that tournament, they were practically inseparable, reportedly always sitting together on bus rides and playing cards together. But they've been separated for too long at both club and international level, so that bromance has also gone cold. Are there other hot bromances in international football you know of? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.